Who's ready to get a little 90s and play with some 90s-esque makeup? Let's get started. I have used this brand for years and it's such an incredible brand that's Surratt. Now I have a bunch of products in my kit and also some that I use, but the company was kind enough to send me a few pieces as well. So I thought, let's go ahead and focus on a Surratt makeup look today. Surratt Beauty was created by a man named Troy Surratt and he was an apprentice to Kevin Aquan. He used to clean his brushes and there's a really great story that I will link down below from thecut.com where you can read about it. Now I already have on my complexion. It's the new Shiseido foundation incredible will be in my best stuff for 2023 as well as this beauty as well the house labs concealer this will also be in my best of incredible products cannot recommend them enough and then i have a new product that i showed you guys in the last video that i did and that is by mob and it's the cream blush and that's on the cheeks today now, this is an eyebrow pencil i used to use back in the day it has a nice detail smaller point to it and these are great because they're refillable you just pull them out and then pop it in. The other side has the spoolie. The ombre 90s thin brows. Oh, does this bring me back? Let's go ahead and get into the Surat eyeshadow in Beyond Beige. Now this is one that they sent me and I have used this palette before, but it is always nice to have extra, especially for my kit. Here is the color and I cannot begin to tell you how many times this type of color story has been used on my clients. It's a staple for those of you who love an everyday, pretty, polished, refined, sophisticated, everyday eyeshadow look. Each color is really well laid out in its color story, but really what makes Surat products special is their formula. There are very few products that can match this level of texture and longevity, and it photographs incredibly beautiful. They are very silky and they're light. These types of formulas I can use on everybody. So they're a staple in my kits. If you're 20 all the way to 120, it's gonna look good on you. So I'm gonna show you guys the texture. They are like a soft silk. you can see the layering and how beautiful and buttery these are really shine through. 
And as you can see, I did do a darker, smokier eye on this side, which excuse the gapping here. My eyes are watering. It is smoky outside where I'm at, so my eyes are tearing up a bit. This eye, I stayed lower with the smoky aspect and didn't put any of the black liner on top, except for close to the lash line, but I didn't really put it up on top of that lid. And then I added a little blush and a little lipstick. But let's go ahead and get into the blush because these are by far the best blushes that I have ever ever used and it has a lot to do with the finish they're very light they have a little bit of iridescence so they catch light when you move your head and i've talked about this consistently you want products that bend the light that's what gives you that really beautiful three-dimensional look which we already are in 3d but it just reinforces that so if you have really great cheekbones or if you have a great nose or a great brow bone you want to add light to those areas so that it becomes a focal point so as you can see when i turn my head the blush grabs the light it has the most beautiful formula this is what i cannot state enough when it comes to Surat. If you get a chance and you can feel their products, you'll understand exactly what I mean. It feels like silk. They're very, very soft, but not chalky. Their powders almost feel like cream. They're like a jelly texture and it just rolls on top of the skin. Great for my clients who are having age concerns. Great for my clients who are models who are getting photographed. Just overall, just a beautiful formula. So I already added the pink. Let's go in and add this beautiful pop of orange here. I'm just going to go over the whole cheek area and blend it all together. What's also lovely is that these are easy to pop out so you can customize any kind of blush look that you would like to do. Let's go ahead and switch up the lipstick. I'm using the Nude Soleil because it's very 90s to have a very nude lip and a nudie pinky cheek with then the eyes being the focus. But I'm going to switch it up by keeping the Nude Soleil on, but then I'm going to add this color called Eglantine, I believe. And it's kind of a rosy mauve. It's a really beautiful everyday lip color for those who are looking for that rosy pick-me-up kind of color and I'm just gonna put this on the edges to help the lips look fuller now this is a color combination that I use a lot for clients especially those who are looking for an everyday lip look it's also really beautiful for bridal and for photo shoots See how it's just enough color. Now, a product I'm not so crazy about from Surat, and I did talk about this in my last video, is their brow pomade. It's supposed to hold your brows in place, and it's such a good concept. The brush is, to me, where it really shines, and the formula I was hoping would be stronger, but it just isn't. It's not a product that I would ever buy again. It's just too light in its hold. If you're looking for a brow product to hold really well, I would go for the Isamea French brow lac if you are somebody who just wants your brows glossed and you already have a full thick brow and you want a medium to light hold you most likely will love this but i need all the help i can get and this just doesn't do enough for me now when i'm on set and i need to do a natural look whether that be lifestyle all editorial commercial work this is great because it really does look natural and that's the kind of look that most photographers as well as cinematographers or videographers like so this would be great for those of you makeup artists who are looking for a natural brow pomade to just lightly gloss the brows now these are one of my favorite pencils and I did talk about this in the last video. It is somewhere between a Chanel and a Victoria Beckham eyeliner. It is not too greasy and so it doesn't move around and it's not as dry as the Chanel, although the Chanel really sticks. It's truly a great waterproof pencil. This is like a rock and roll, quick, smudgy, sexy liner. Extra, extra black and you can just really create a beautiful smoky look this is a staple in my kit when it comes to creating that very sexy editorial smoky eye look i also love it in the inner water line because it helps to make the lashes look longer because you're adding more length by going on the inner rim overall just a quick sexy great liner and they are budge proof i don't want to say waterproof but they stay really well this last product Surat sent me is the Torch Lumiere. It's a highlighting stick and I have used this before and it's beautiful if you put it on first and then your foundation on top if you want a natural look. I also like to use this on my brides or models for neck, chest or where the bone protrudes so they collar bone down the center of the leg, but it definitely has a kick to it. It's not like the Chanel Balm sticks. It's got a lot more wow factor to it. So go in with padding motions rather than a stripe motion to create a softer look, but it definitely catches light. I will show you on even my brow bone here. Look at that, just a little bit, how much that catches light. Very little bit on the nose because I don't like that disco ball look there. And then you can bring it down here to really create that S shape so that the camera catches as much of that cheekbone area as possible. 
And if you want, you can put a little bit on the ear, just on the high points, catch the light there as well. Let's go in with the stripes. So you guys can see just how frosty and bright this gets. So if you don't want that over the top look, I would be careful. And if you like that over the top look, well, you know it's achievable. I'm gonna go in with my pinky now and put this on the inner corner here. And there we have our 90s makeup look altered a little bit here and there. I had some fun showing you guys a softer version and a more dramatic version. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Support the channel by going ahead and subscribing using the affiliate links down below for any of the products I use today. And if you don't want to buy any of the products I use today, two ways to support me is to go ahead and go to the description box down below and right under all the products that I've listed that I use today. There's a list of a bunch of stores. And every time you use any of those links for anything you want to buy, I get a small commission and it helps me to continue to do this artistry education channel and if you haven't had enough you can head to TikTok or instagram where i show sneak peeks and quick tutorials for you all and you can also head to shrewdvoyage.com to book me for a one-on-one -on -one zoom lesson all right everyone as always thank you so much for watching take care of you take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now everybody